At the gym, we have another fool who doesn't use common sense and films not only himself in the locker room, but a person changing. I don't get how people don't understand that if you're in the locker room and there's somebody changing behind you, you don't take a video. You literally look back at him, see that he's changing, and continue to record, and then you post it. <sighs> to expose somebody while they're vulnerable, post it on social media, all for what? So you can get some likes and attention. The arrogance. This gym should kick your ass out. Sadly, Joey Swole will make another video on the matter, which follows a sad pattern. This guy. Still my progress here. What? Still my progress. Oh. We understand. Recall Brett Centrella, who had the audacity to tell a fellow gym goer when being told correctly what he is doing is not legal to move to another area of the locker room because, yeah, that's the problem. Then there was TikTok user Kavan. He too, like Centrella, filmed themselves in the private spaces of the locker room. Kavan went as far as to post this clip on his own account with a man dropping trow in the back. I couldn't hear him because my music was too loud. <clears throat> What's that? Is that on? Yeah. Turn it off. Why? Because I don't want people taking pictures of me while I'm in the locker room changing. I'm not taking pictures of you. Turn the thing off. Grandpa was mad for no reason. Myself. Actually, Grandpa has a very, very good reason to be upset. He has the right to privacy, or at least the expectation of privacy. These videos are maddening, and for future reference, can get you in serious trouble. Look, we've gone over this many times, but for those that haven't seen our past work on this, since most gyms are accessible... It's not a violation of privacy laws to record someone in a gym's common area. Typically, the law does not prohibit watching or photographing activities that are outside a person's reasonable expectation of privacy. Taking a photo of someone on the elliptical, that's fine, would likely be legal. A photo of them in the locker room, just don't. And forget about the bathroom. Even if it's a public area, attempting to get an upskirt or an upshort photo in a gym could land you behind bars, although the law is still unclear on this in several states. Just don't do it. It's simple. As long as the subject is a clothed gym goer in a common area, however, the law provides little protection from secret Snapchats or IG stories. If you catch someone recording you with their smartphone or vice versa, it will likely be up to the individual gym to deal with the problem which, by the way, they should. Breaking these rules by, for example, filming someone on the treadmill is considered a breach of the gym membership agreement. So the worst that could really happen is the gym could cancel someone's membership and kick them out. The bottom line is this. Just don't record people. Don't make fun of them. Be a good person.